Alright guys, today we're moving my former breeder male, a Lunacara Stuart Granty, to the 55 gallon community tank. So in this video we're going to be talking about how to move one or two African cichlids into an existing African cichlid aquarium dealing with all things that come with African cichlids like aggression, territories and a thing that some people don't think about which is lighting. Now what I'm doing here definitely isn't always needed but before I put the blue neon peacock in the 55 gallon I'm taking out some of the more dominant fish and putting them in buckets while I do a big water change. This helps to reset territory and the sunshine here usually likes to be around the left side of the tank so I'm taking him out and then I'm going to be after the Taiwan Reef who right now since we sold the three or four fish to the store has been taking over the tank and he's been quite a ruthless boss. See those net techers there though? I'd say that's a different level. I do want to show this dude though. Because this guy's not the mental. Coloration to be fair, but it doesn't matter. So basically these are just being put in holding buckets for right now. So when I put the blue neon in the tank, he's not getting harassed and stressed out from all the bigger fish in the tank chasing him. Next we're catching the dragon blood, who if you remember I got from Imperial Tropicals, this guy's grown a lot and he's also became one of the more dominant fish in the tank. So he's going to go in one of the buckets, just to be sure again that he doesn't really start getting at the blue nail. But as you can see his coloration's really really coming on. Oh, shit. See that? Wow. I've never had one like kick off like this. Holy shit. Look at him. <laughs> I'm glad I took him out because we were ready for a fight, wasn't I? The last fish to come out is Squishy, who's an electric blue alley that we got when he was tiny and grey, and everyone thought he were a female, but he's turned out pretty good. And he's really getting that nice blue sheen. So now it's time to move the blue neon. Sorry, dude. There you go. So just a little disclaimer. Obviously, if you're getting fish from the fish store, you don't necessarily need to do this. I'm just doing this because the blue neon's the most unbelievable fish I'll probably ever keep. So I want to make sure he's as safe as possible when I'm transitioning him to this tank. So by taking out the more dominant males and putting them in buckets it just helps to reset that aggression even more but now he's in the tank with the rest of the subdominant males or juvenile males so they're not too aggressive that way you can get used to the tank and now it's time to put the other fish in the tank and then we'll go through common practices of what you should do when you're introducing new fish So now all the fish are back in the tank. I've got one juvenile blue neon that I believe is a male and then I've obviously got the main blue neon male. And as you can probably tell I've switched the rockscape around. This is very important when you're adding new fish as again it helps to reset the territory that the fish have formulated over time. I've also set up this breeder net for if anyone really starts stressing out the blue neon I can throw them in there real quick. But as of right now he looks like he's fairly comfortable with the tank, he's breathing moderately heavy but he's exploring and no one seems to really be bugging him. 
So as well as changing the rockscape around, I've also found that turning off the lights helps in reducing aggression. Although after a few hours, I did notice that the most dominant fish in the tank, the Taiwan Reef, was getting at the blue neon a little bit because I think he was feeling a little threatened due to the size of the blue neon. So I had to put him in a breeder box. So he's gonna be in there for about two, three, four days in order to calm down. Then we'll reintroduce him to the tank. The smaller juvenile that I added, however, hadn't been chased at all. And this is due to his size. No one sees him as a threat and so they'll leave him alone. So if you can have the patience and add these cichlids as small juveniles, that is gonna help. But if you're buying big African cichlids, expect there to be some nipped fins and some territory battles because it's going to happen. They're aggressive fish and there's always going to be some disputes in terms of hierarchy. Anyway, that's all for today's video. So far, so good. The blue neon's getting more comfortable day by day and he's eating like a pig. So that's the main thing. I'm just hoping it can continue to look like this in the all male show tank. So time will tell. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. As always, please like the video, please subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.